Which doing an interview with Dustin, our afternoon guy, was the most awkward situation I've ever been in. He's kind of an awkward human. It was it was because we brought up the Areola situation, and he's like, I can't believe you brought this up. And I oh, brought it up not? because she flashed people on stage, and I'm like, what's the deal with the boob thing? And he's like, you're not going to bring it up. You're not going to bring it up. And I was, and I literally called her out on it. I was like, if you're all about showing the boobs, why don't you just walk around topless and stuff like that? And she explained why she does it. And I thought that was the most important thing. She says... One of the reasons she does the flashing is it kind of started organically that she flashed on stage because she was pumped up in the moment and then people started flashing her back. But then she started thinking about it from a female perspective. She really does believe in this free the nipple campaign. Right. And she hates the fact, especially at these festivals, that guys can walk around shirtless. Guys can walk into a festival without their shirt on and women can't do the same. And she doesn't like when women don't have the same opportunities that men do. When they're sure. held back. And she also talked about how she felt like it was other females that needed to be open-minded to this and not judge her for doing it because she did feel like she was judged a lot of times. Like right. People were like, oh, my God, why does she flash her boobs? What does that mean? She's like, guys, get over it. It's yeah. a nipple, and I should be able to do what I want to do and not feel judged for it. So then was it just on stage she went up there and just she went ahead and freed no. the nipple? Is that what happened? No. So then I was like, well, then if you feel so strongly about this and you think you can just walk around with your shirt off – then you should do it. And she did it. She just pulled her top off in the trailer? Kind of. So she's like, well, let me show you, like, these, like, I hand these things out to my fans. And so she goes and gets, like, uh, the nipple pasties, which I've never seen before, never used like in my life. Like the little stickers? Like, yeah, like yeah. a pasty, I yeah. guess. And so it was, like, these X's on her nipples. And she puts one on, and then no one saw anything. And then she says, turns around. She goes, do you want to see the nipple? Turns around and shows me your boob. And I'm like, oh, my God. My wife is going to kill me. <laughs> so the engineer, Andrew, guy is like, well, you're lucky your wife didn't go backstage for that Andrew interview. Yeah. And I was like, you've been fine. And so then, hold on. We put the pasties on. Oh, there's more. Oh, we put these pasties on. And I'm going to hand you this picture because I'm not allowed to post it, Scotty. And you can just probably, you can just, I guess there's pictures. Picture. Let me see. You're going to love it. Okay. You're going to love it. I'm I'm you can describe it because I'm not allowed to post it. Oh, my God. <laughs> there is. Okay, there's a couple things wrong with this. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's all boob out. It's all boob out. The, the pasties are on. Both Tovlo's shirt is completely up. Brett's got them on and your shirt's up. And you're kind of like, oh, my God, look what Tovlo's doing. But then our afternoon guy, Dustin, Dustin. has got his tongue sticking out. Yeah. With I, I'm pretty sure he has, Brett, your name shaved into his no. chest. I don't know what this is. But he looks like he drew nipples on top of the pasties. He kept trying to get with out a marker. Of it. He kept going. I, I, are we really What's doing wrong this? With are him? we really doing this? And then he goes. Here's the best part. You're gonna love this, Scotty. I go take him. Places. I go to Tovlo. I'm like, should I point to the pasties or is that weird? And she goes, you shouldn't punch my boob. And I go, punch your boob. I said point. She goes, oh, I thought you said punch. And and Dustin literally like him and Tovlo were best friends. Like they've known each other for years. He goes. Oh, man, afterwards, me and Tove, we were cracking up about when you said that punchline. Me and Tove, like, like, like we had like nicknames for each other. I'm like, who's Tove? I thought it's Tove Low. <laughs> oh, my like, God. Like, oh, me and Tove. It was the funniest well, interview. I'm pretty sure, Brett, thing. now that you are both topless together, you can call her Tove. I think you're on Tove status now. Oh, maybe I that's think you, I think you are. Maybe I think you're on Tove. Why. There's your picture back. Yeah, I don't want that in my hands Tove. anymore. Me okay. and Tove. Okay. All right. Well, congratulations, Brett. You made it to Tove's stat. So you're not allowed to post that picture? What, the record well, they're, label they're said record you can't? Like, but I posted the video of her actually putting the pasty on, and yeah. they're like, well, that only lasts 24 hours, but you can't post the picture. But there was a video on my Insta story that you could see her putting the pasty on. Gotcha. Okay. It's and uh, that, oh, that was Saturday, so it's gone already. Damn. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, all right. Good story, Brett. Meg. I like that. A couple things we learned from that <laughs> is, one, you and Tove are on, uh, Tove. Are on uh, Tove status, and uh, Dustin is still the most... Awkward human being I in the history you, of humans. I thought you would get a kick out of that toe fly. I do. I love it. Yeah.